How does the radio iodine, how does it just get um, like part of it as opposed to the whole thing? Like I know you said that you use less of it so right, that it okay. doesn't well, that's a good dissolve question. the whole thyroid That's thing, a very good question. So first of all, the iodine that we give is only meant for the thyroid gland. It's the only gland that wants the iodine. Mm -hmm. So normally we would eat it in our diets. Mm -hmm. It gets absorbed from the stomach and the intestine, circulates around the blood and goes to the thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. And when your vet measures T4, mm -hmm. that's four iodines on that molecule. That's okay. what the four is, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. So it gets incorporated as part of thyroid hormone. That's a function of iodine. So with her, if you look at that tumor, there's many, many little nodules in that tumor. Mm -hmm. So if this, is, if this is a tumor, and this is what we feel is a big lump, really what we're feeling is, if you look under the microscope, mm -hmm. you see this. Many, many little nodules, right? Mm -hmm. This is called nodular goiter. Goiter means enlargement yeah. of the thyroid nodule. There's this nodularity. The iodine has a preference to go into these nodules because that's really where the adenoma uh, is. Okay. The space between mm -hmm. is normal. Okay. Okay. And the iodine is not attracted to it. Not as much. Okay. Okay. Now the iodine, if you give it, you know, if you, if you give a dose here, it's going to travel mm -hmm. and may destroy some of that normal tissue too. You know, and it's possible that the space, you know, there may not be very much normal left. Right. But if you give a big dose, in, in some facilities, we treat her with, and I'm serious, three times what I'm going to give. Yeah. You know, it's pretty easy to destroy all the normal. Right. Right? So mm -hmm. that's what we're trying to do is protect that normal tissue.